the frontline healthcare workers. Hospitals, clinics, and care homes across the country are short-staffed. But help is on the way. Enrollment at nursing schools is up. News 4's Corey Smith spoke to first-year nursing students at the University of D.C. to find out why they're going into nursing while so many are leaving. When the nursing profession came calling, these women answered, albeit for different reasons. I'm placed here and I'm put here just to help. Their skill, their knowledge, and their passion. I wanted to be one of them. For me, it started off like as a spark of interest. Regardless of how they landed in UDC's nursing program, America's healthcare system is fortunate to have them. The pandemic has driven thousands of nurses out of the profession, but the tide appears to be turning. Nursing school enrollment grew more than 5% in 2020 to just over 250,000 students nationwide. At UDC, the 52 applications received this fall is a 100% increase compared to 2019, and it's more than double the amount received during the height of the pandemic in 2020. This is definitely a hard job. Is it thankless at times? It's definitely <laughs> thankless at times. What keeps people coming back? Why do they keep going? The love. Dr. Vonda Rogers is the nursing program's acting director. She says nurses are leaving because COVID has changed everything, from reduced interaction with patients. For a nurse to see a patient die alone, that hurts. To increased work hours, stress, and trauma. We will work and work and work and won't take that time to ourselves, and that's something we have to stop. Dr. Rogers attributes the rise in enrollment to the program's recent accreditation. She says it's affordable and accessible, making it attractive to students like Irina, Kali, and Shayla who enrolled despite the pandemic's impact on the job. It's a little bit scary, but it just motivated me more. This is not the time when I would be um, shining away from that. The trio are on course to graduate in 2023. By then, COVID may be well behind us, but the need for nurses will remain, and it appears more and more people are willing to answer that call. We all ready, and I think we're all prepared. Prepared to help others. Corey Smith, News 4. The Arlington Community